Hi friends, and welcome to the third installment of Anxious Friends Meditating Together. Uh, I apologize for the weird um, setting, <laughs> but uh, we spent today traveling from Himachal to Jammu, and when we crossed the border, we were quarantined in a hotel, and that's where I'm recording this from. Um, so uh as usual this video is 10 minutes of me weirdly meditating with you um eyes closed in front of the camera and um then we'll talk about one or two questions at the end i have my timer here and it's caught um you can get your timer for 10 minutes you can run two timers at the same time.
that's our timer. And I was thinking that today an appropriate topic of conversation would actually be um, not questions, but two comments that have come from two separate friends. Um, so today we spent the day uh, traveling across two state borders and entering into institutional quarantine. Uh, we both had pretty substantial motion sickness on the way here. And although usually uh, riding in a vehicle is a nice opportunity to meditate, um, this makes it more difficult when um, we're vomiting and um, uh, under kind of a stressful set of circumstances. Um, one friend from the United States made a comment that he would like to start meditating, but uh, police helicopters are um, constantly flying over his house, um, obviously because of the protests that are going on in the U.S. right now about police brutality and um, the civilian response to that. And on the other side of the coin, um, another friend of mine from Bangalore uh, has made the comment to me multiple times that she finds she can meditate um, quite well when things are bad. Um, so if she feels she has uh, a problem that she can tackle with meditation, she meditates and it gets better. But when the situation is better, when she's feeling comfortable and relaxed, uh, she actually has difficulty meditating because there's no problem to solve. Um, and so I, I think that in general, um, it is nicer to uh, not be sick to your stomach, to not be um, under the watch of constant police helicopters, to have a quiet place to meditate, if you can have that. Um, but you can really meditate anytime and in any set of circumstances. So on one end of the spectrum, when things are very bad, when you're in institutional quarantine, when you're in the hospital, when a loved one is in the hospital, um, when things are hard for you, you can meditate and you can use it as uh, a tool for dealing with that situation. But on the other end of the spectrum, when things are really good, when everything is flowing along normally, um, meditation can still be a useful tool and you can use it to, um, to maintain yourself and to avoid slipping into situations where uh, you're feeling extra anxious or um, extra lethargic and it can kind of keep you grounded. And so hopefully these uh, 10 minutes a day, um, if you're feeling ambitious, 10 minutes twice a day in the morning and in the evening um, are helping you one way or the other, whether you're feeling more anxious than usual or whether you're feeling perfectly normal. And this is just another nice thing that you can add to your day. All right, everyone, uh, we're very tired and we're going to go to sleep now, but I will see you tomorrow. Good night.